This is a custom-made cathedral hive that was knocked over by a bear. Uh, the owner picked it up yesterday, just put it back together, and we left it overnight so that the bees could calm down. And as you can see, we secured it with ratchet straps. Fortunately, the bear hasn't been back yet, but today we're gonna go in. All of the comb has been broken off of the cathedral top bars. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our cutout frames and try to tie all that comb in together and put it into a deep box. The bees look pretty calm. I don't see really any signs of robbing, so that's a good sign. So we've taken the uh, cover off and we've exposed the cathedral top bars. What you can see, as we look in the end, is that virtually all of the comb has been knocked off the top bars and is laying on the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull it out, we're going to take our cutout frames, and we're going to tie it in, and we're going to place it deep on the stand next to us here and put the frames in that deep. So here's our little setup for the cutout frames. We just set it on top of a, uh, an empty box and we're going to lay the comb in there. So we've taken some of the empty top bars off. Now you can really see what a mess it is inside this hive. All the comb is laying on the floor of the hive. There are a couple of pieces that are still attached. You can see some brood comb up at the top and there's some empty comb and some honeycomb laying on the bottom. So here's the first frame we put together. You can see we just tried to piece all the honeycomb into one and put some on the bottom so when we tie it up it'll support whatever is on the top. So I'm going to tie it up and we'll see how it goes. So this is the frame all tied in. You can see it's supported on both sides by the fishing line. So we're going to go ahead and put this one into the deep box which we have right next door over here. We've removed some more of the top bars and some of the comb that was laying in the bottom. You can see there's only one piece left on the bottom. And it looks like we've got a couple of intact pieces, which is great. So we'll tie those right into the cutout frames. This is the second frame that we put together. You can see up in the left-hand corner, that's a piece of uh, plastic foundation that was tied into one of the top bars. And it had some drawn comb on it, so we decided to keep it. We've got some brood up in the upper right-hand corner, and there's pollen and honey down at the bottom. So you can see it's kind of out of whack. It's not exactly where the bees would want it, but hopefully they'll stitch it all together and they'll move around whatever they need. Still haven't found the queen yet, so uh, looks like these last few top bars are all intact. So we're just gonna cut those out and put each one individually in a frame. And hopefully we'll find the queen. We'll keep looking. So we're into the brood nest now, and we just kept looking for the queen, and sure enough, we found her. There she is with the white spot on her. So we're just going to grab her with the queen clip. There. Did we get her? Oh, no, she's right there. Okay. All right, we missed her on the first try, but we're going to try, try again. I'm trying to video with one hand and catch with the other. It's a little difficult, but don't want to squish her. Did I get her? I think you got her that time. No. Nope. I'm not seeing her here. You have to walk on the other side. Oh, there she is. All right, got her this time. Okay, I finally got her. Caught her in the queen clip. We'll brush her off. You can see her down there at the bottom. I don't know how focused this is. Let's try. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to set her down and then we can show you a picture of her. Okay, we finally got her in the clip. There's Her Highness, the Queen. She's uh, marked with a little bit of white, which means she's last year's Queen, so she's a year old. And uh, we're going to remark her before we put her in. But we're really happy that she's safe and secure, so now we can finish the rest of the hive. Here's a shot cutting out the comb, some of the comb that we're going to tie into the uh, 
the cutout frame. So here's the third frame. You can see that we've got some yellow jackets who are in there trying to get their uh, share of the honey. So we'll close them up. The bees will take care of them. There's only a few. So let's get them back in the box. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is how we cut it out of the cathedral hive top bar. So we just cut along the edge here. And down the side. This side doesn't seem to be attached. I think we're good to go. We'll just trim it up a little bit. So this this is a nice comb. It's got some brood in it. It's got a little bit of honey. They were backfilling some brood on this side. So this is definitely one we want to save. Put it in its own frame, it fits perfectly in there. And then we tie it up. Snug it up as best we can. Oops. Up, and then we make a loop so it's easy to take off when we're ready to take it out. Okay, so there's frame number four. So we're to the last frame. You can see that the beekeeper put some foundation and then tied it in with some hardware cloth. They haven't really done much with it yet, but we're going to put it in a cutout frame and add it in with the rest. So this will be frame number five. This is the last frame, frame five. We took the piece of foundation and we tied it into its frame. So we're going to put that in. That's five of five. You can see we still have some bees in the cathedral hive. We're going to dump those into the deep. And then we're going to get some drawn comb and alternate between the, the drawn frames that we have. And we're going to put some honey frames up in the top. Like I said, we're going to have to feed like crazy because uh, it's getting late in the year but this is the best chance this hive has to survive. So I put the queen in the clip at the bottom of the hive and I'm going to close it up. I put the cathedral hive and some of the frames in front. We'll see if the bees begin fanning. Here's the bees cleaning up whatever honey we spilt on the table where we're tying the comb into the frames. I put the cover on. The queen is now in the clip in the bottom of the cage, excuse me, at the bottom of the hive. And we put the cathedral hive out in the front. You can see there's a lot of bees, a lot of bees in the air. I don't see any signs of robbing, so that's good. There are some yellow jackets around, but they don't seem to be too much of a problem. So I don't see a lot of fanning going on just yet but hopefully we'll get a few that start fanning and tell the others where to go now that we've got the queen in the hive. see a little bit of fighting going on. I'm sure there's some robber bees from the nearby hives that are trying to get in there and take advantage. May have to close down the entrance if it gets too bad. Right now they seem to be dealing with it. But not something we really want to see. We might have to close it up. So I closed the entrance down. It's really just a couple of bee 
widths wide so that they can defend it. You can see there's really a feeding frenzy that's going on out here with all the bees, not just the bees from this hive, but all the bees in the apiary trying to clean up whatever spilt honey is left. So we'll give them the chance to clean it out and hopefully the bees that belong in the hive will find their way back home and all the others will go back. Good. Okay, we're going to release the queen from the clip and hopefully she'll walk right down. There's a couple of brood combs in the middle here, so that's where we really want her to go. So let's see how that works. Of course, when you want her to, she sticks herself in the corner. You just give her some time, she'll find her way. Sure, she's been traumatized by everything that's happened the last couple of days. But once we get her in there, hopefully they'll settle down. Come on, Your Majesty. You can do it. I don't want to shake her and really traumatize her any more than she's already been. There she is. Go down, please. Okay, she's back.